In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome effect where you can stand in the mirror and your reflection would do something different to yourself. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films. And in today's video, I'm talking about this really cool reflection effect where your reflection would do something different to you. So in order to do this effect, we first need to begin by capturing our footage. And for this, we need a camera and a tripod. It is super important that we have our camera mounted to a tripod to do this effect because you're going to need to capture a clean plate and a shot of the action and you need to stitch these together to create the effect. So the framing of the shot must match identically. So mount your camera to your tripod, dial all of the settings into manual and once you've done this, you want to stop rolling, run into the shot and complete your action. Now you're going to want to do two different sets of actions. You want to do one action for the reflection and you want to do a different action for the person not in the reflection. So you're gonna shoot your first action, shoot your second action, and then you want to leave the shot, making sure the camera is still rolling and left on the tripod, and just leave that camera rolling for around 10 seconds. And the reason why we do this is because we need to capture a clean plate. Now, a clean plate is basically just an empty shot, and we use this to cover up any imperfections that might be in the final effect. So make sure to capture your clean plate. Now, once you've completed that, we need to throw the footage into our video editor, and we need to begin editing this effect. So let's jump right into Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you've opened your video editor and you have your footage imported, we first want to begin by throwing this onto the timeline. So we'll throw the reflection mirror one shot onto the timeline, reflection mirror two onto the timeline, and then we'll also throw the clean plate into the timeline just in case we need it. Now all of my footage comes with an audio channel attached, but I don't need the audio for this effect. So I'm just going to unlink this and just delete the audio so we can focus on the video only. Now from here, I'm going to add the reflection mirror two shot on top of the reflection mirror one shot. So we should have two shots on top of each other. And now I need to go ahead and cut out the mirror. So I want to cut the mirror out of the shot on video layer two. This means that the mirror from shot two will directly sit on top of shot one. So in order to do this, we need to go over to the opacity tool in effect controls, select the pen tool, and we'll just draw a mask around the outside of the mirror. And this is basically done. This is basically the mirror reflection effect complete. But just to make sure we've really thoroughly blended this in, we'll go up to mask feather and we'll just pull the mask feather up from 10 to a higher number just to blend these two shots together. And there we go. That is the effect now complete, but we're just going to add a very subtle camera zoom into the shot to make this shot look more believable. So select those two video layers, right click, press nest. We can rename the nested sequence if we like, and then we'll scrub all the way back to the very beginning and create a brand new keyframe on position and scale. Drag the cursor towards the end of the video clip and we'll increase the scale to around 110%. Update the position and then drag those keyframes to the very end of that shot. And if we play this back, we have a really nice subtle zoom in and the reflection mirror effect is now complete. As you can see, I did not use the clean plate for this example because the mask was clean enough to not have to use a clean plate, but this might not be the case all the time. So it's super important to always capture the clean plate and have the option available in the edit because it could really help to save the effect. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next episode.